What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're talking about fixing distorted vocals. So a lot of the projects that I get to work on, I also have the privilege to record and sometimes to even mix. Sometimes, however, I'm only hired as a mixing engineer. And at that point, you're kind of just hoping that everything was recorded properly so you can do the best job that you possibly can. Now, it hasn't happened a lot of times, but there have been scenarios where I receive vocals that come in with certain issues like too much noise floor or pops and clicks. And of course, distortion. Now, in situations like this, I always have to go back and forth emailing with the engineer or the artist if they recorded themselves and asked them to resend better vocals, but this can definitely prove to be a very frustrating experience for both parties. On one hand, I know that as an engineer, I can't possibly do the best job that I can if I don't have quality vocals, but I also understand the perspective of the artist because now they have to re-record and to replicate the energy, the vibe, and the flow can be a challenge to say the least. Now, the best thing to do, the best solution in scenarios like this would be to show them how to properly record a vocal and then have them resend a better one but what do you do when that's not a possibility what do you do as a mixing engineer to solve the current problem luckily for us though there now seems to be a tool for almost anything and as a matter of fact one of the most popular plugins for audio repair for a while now has been one called rx by Isotope. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's because they also make Ozone, which is their mastering plugin that I use and I've shown here on the channel. Now, personally, I haven't had a chance to try RX and they just released their newest version, RX7, and Plugin Boutique was kind enough to provide me with a copy, so I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I wanted to see if it was as good as everybody says. But okay, this here is RX7, and the great thing about this plugin is that you can use it either as a standalone audio editor suite outside of your DAW or as individual modules inside of your digital audio workstation. Personally though, I prefer to use it outside of my DAW, do my repairs there, and then import clean vocals into my mix, because that way I start with fresh clean vocals, and then two, it also saves me some CPU power when I'm mixing. But okay, before we get started, let's take a very quick tour because this plugin, believe it or not, is actually really, really simple. Now in the middle, this is the main audio editor window. This is where you would see your audio files once they're imported, and to get them in here, you could either browse for them on your hard drive or simply drag and drop. At the bottom, you're gonna see some transport controls as well as some metering. And over to your right, you're gonna see all the modules that you could use to do your repairs. And they range from breath control, de-bleed, de-click, de-clip, de-crackle, and a lot more. Now for this video, I'm gonna be using a vocal snippet from a fantastic artist that goes by the next day. I'm actually in the studio with him now working on his debut EP. So that's exciting, but this here is a vocal snippet from an old song that he gave me permission to use. So let's bring that in now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up on my hard drive and here it is. Now for this demonstration, I've purposely distorted these vocals and we can see some of that in the first half in areas like here, 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 and a little bit towards the end, but definitely more on the second half in areas like here and here. But let's take a listen. That I made the mistake of falling for you. Now, as mentioned, and as you guys just heard, there is some clipping in the beginning of the vocal here, but what I really want to focus on is when he hits the falsetto, this area. This is when we really start to hear a lot more clipping and ultimately what we want to fix today. Now, there's a couple ways to use this plugin. If your audio only had one problem, like in this case where we just want to fix the distortion, then we would come over to the right to our modules and click on whatever we want to use. So for us, it'd be declip and then here we would get to work. If your audio had multiple problems, let's say for example that not only do we want to remove the clipping but also maybe some pops and clicks, what you would do at that point is instead come up here to the top where it says module chain and here you can start to add different modules and create this sort of audio repair vocal chain. My favorite way to use this plugin however has definitely been with the repair assistant. Now much like with Ozone where we got a master assistant, with RX we get a repair assistant and it's a handy little feature that really gets you most of the way there if not all of it so let's go ahead and use it now so once you have the file loaded up all you have to do is click on the repair assistant button on the top right here now immediately you're gonna get a pop-up asking you what kind of material you would like to clean up and you get dialogue music or other 
because we're only working with vocals, I'm gonna stay in dialogue for this one. Now, once you've made your selection, all you have to do at this point is just hit start analysis. And what you guys will notice is that immediately it starts to analyze your audio and it looks like there was clipping detected, we knew that, but no significant clicks, hum, or noises. Now, once it's done, not only will it show you the original file, but also show you three different repair solutions and all you have to do at this point is kind of browse through them to see which one you like best. Now, if we hover over each solution, you could even see what the program did. So for A, it looks like it declipped. For B, declip and decrackle. And same for C. Now, for reference, let's go ahead and play the original first. That I made the mistake of falling for you. That let's play A. That I made the mistake of falling for you. Okay, let's play B. That I made the mistake of falling for you. Okay, let's play C. That I made the mistake of falling for you. Now, personally, I like C. I think it did a really good job at removing a lot of the clipping, especially from the falsetto area. And it also removed a lot of crackle, which was a problem that I didn't even know I had. Now, in cases where you find a solution that you like, but you want more or less of the effect, all you have to do is hover over your option and hit this fader icon at the bottom. Now, once it's done doing its work, then you'll get this knob where you can adjust the effect intensity so you can decrease it or increase it. Now, if you still want to do more work to it after this, you can certainly open up the module chain and start to add more effects there. But if you're happy with it, all you have to do is just hit render. From here, all that's left to do is literally just go over to file, export, and save. Now, this was only one scenario where you could use a tool like RX to save a song, but this is only scratching the surface. Now, the one thing that I will say, though, is that you shouldn't expect a tool like this to be some sort of miracle worker, because although it can be helpful in correcting certain common mistakes like clipping from recording too hot or removing pops and clicks and even reverb, at the end of the day, if an audio file is completely destroyed, there is very little any tool can do. And at that point, it's always best to just to go back and get it right at the source. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link RX-7 down in the description box in case anybody is interested. But as always, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys on the next one.